Hi, welcome to Lux DIY. My name is Christina. We are a brand new baby YouTube channel. We're just starting out, so hit that like and subscribe button and support us so that we can grow and become part of the YouTube community. Our channel specializes in designer fashion hacks and um, designer inspired jewelry. Today we're going to be making this designer inspired necklace and this is right off of the runway from 2019. You can see there's all kinds of little shells and crystals and beads on here. This is actually very easy to make. So let's get started. So you will need a couple of tools, some pliers, some round nose pliers, some scissors, end pins. You need these round spring clasps. E6000 glue, an assortment of beads, crystals, you'll need some shells, and lastly, we're painting over the shells with a nude pink polish just to make it look a little bit nicer. So the purpose of these round spring clasps is to attach them to the sides of the shell and that way you actually don't even need to drill a hole in it, which is much, much easier. We did use a dot of the E6000 glue just to uh, make sure that the spring clasp stays secure onto the shell. I'm going to show you what some of these finished shell pieces look like with all the pretty crystals glued in there. I have some semi-precious stones glued in there, some shells, and just little tiny beads as well. So these are the tiny shells that we're using, and this is the assortment of crystals and semi-precious stones that we're using. Some of these um, semi-precious stones are actually little chips, and then we have tiny little seed beads as well. Using the E6000 glue with this thin nozzle, I'm going to begin gluing um, a semi-precious stone and some shells and beads inside of the shell. So as you can see, on the top of my E6000 glue, I'm using a thumbtack with a jewel glued on the top of it, and this helps um, the glue from not overflowing out of the tube. I'm also keeping it upright, and this just overall helps everything be much cleaner and so that you don't have glue all over your fingers. You're also going to need about two or three shells that are facing the opposite way, so go ahead and embellish a few of these um, with the back sides of the shell. This is where you're gonna need your tools and we're gonna go ahead and make these beads that we're gonna attach to the necklace. Using the clippers, you're going to cut off the very end parts of the end pins.
Now using the pliers, I'm going to go ahead and make an L shape, leaving a little bit of room on the end pin. I'm going to use the round nose pliers to make a loop on the part that's bent already on the end pin. After we put the bead on this, I'm going to go ahead and do this on the other side as well. You're also going to want to take the pliers and just straighten that piece out as well. Now I'm going to push the other side of the wire very close up against the bead to make another L shape and then I'm going to cut the size to be about the same size as we had on the other side of the pin. To attach these bead pieces together, I literally just use the pliers to open up the um, circle and then attach it. So when I'm laying out this necklace, I really don't have an exact pattern because it kind of is like a sort of a random jumbled up necklace as you can see in the picture. So yours doesn't have to be exactly the same as ours. We're just kind of eyeballing it out. I do want this necklace to have a little bit of a layered look just like we see in the picture. I'm going to use one of the back pieces of the shells to kind of um, be like a bridge between the two layers of the necklace.
I did attach another spring class to the side of the shell so that I could add um, some more beads and connect it to the necklace. I did decide to physically glue some of the beads onto the shell just to hold it in place a little bit better. Now we're finishing the necklace up by adding on the clasp. I'm going to use some pliers and some jump rings to do this. So now we have our finished product and it's not exactly like the picture. Ours is a little bit more embellished and we chose to go with more of a green mossy tone to it whereas the picture has kind of blue and green but overall we're very happy with our finished product. 